Oh yeah, today is Wednesday, and you know what that means. Wednesday night is the night that we make hidden gems. Conditions are perfect. Welcome to the Hidden Gem Show, guys, for April 24, 2015, and we have got a show. We have got a show for you. And if you guys do enjoy this, if this goes, uh, if these types of shows helps you out, go ahead and smash that like button, and uh, go ahead and share it with all your friends who love Karoo Mode as much as I love Karoo. My name is Dude Minus, and without further ado, let's hop right into it. We got some good players today. Oh man, Norway. I don't know what they have put in the water, but they are the new Belgian because they first they got Odegaard and now they have this guy, Arndt Emil Hange, or however you say his name. As you can see, just added this, just added this month right here. Uh, just added in this update. Starts out at a very, very meager 55 and goes all the way up to an 80. So for all you guys who are a little bit sad that you guys couldn't get Odegaard, uh, this guy is the next best thing. And as you can see, not too much to look at, but for a 55 player, his acceleration and spin speed are in the 70s as well as his jumping. Everything else, pretty darn low if I have to be honest. But if you want, remember he starts out at a 55, so if you guys, and is only 16, 5, 9. So if you guys are looking for a bright young talent, all you guys that are doing the road to glories, and thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you've shown me uh, on both of my Parma Death crew mode as well as my Loot and Town crew mode, especially on the last Loot and Town crew mode. I'll get more into that into another episode. But yeah, if you guys are doing road to glories and you want a cheap young buy that can grow into a beast, go ahead and look at Arndt Emil Hunt. And I don't know how I missed this guy last week, but here we go, Alexis Blind right here. A lot of people call him the French Daily Blind, and as you can see, he starts out at a 62 and gets all the way up to a massive, monstrous 84, uh, 17 years old, six foot tall, very, very good, can play CDM as well as CM position. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. Uh, nothing all to write home about. He has decent stamina, decent short passing, decent ball control. Everything else, I mean, pretty well rounded in the in. I mean, it looks orange right here, but as you can see, they're almost all in the 60s. So except for his balance, not all that great. And pretty good in the defending. I mean, they're all on the verge of going into you know the the higher up 60s, the mid 60s. And um, you gotta remember, he is young, very young, 17, and he starts at a 62, and he's gonna grow to an 84. So that's a growth of 22. I can do math. I'm Asian. Uh, stay in school kids so all these are gonna be growing by 22 points another bright young hidden gem the guy that I profiled before is getting another upgrade this week and that is Clinton Njai and the Cameroonian is getting a plus one plus one to his overall four star skill moves plays for Olympic lean Ace, and is 5'9 20 years old play striker and right wing position so you already know you gotta have some pace in this episode because I am one filthy dirty pace or and as you can see right here 94 sprint speed 92 acceleration 88 agility and 85 balance and this is what I like to see plus 7 to stamina bringing it all the way up to a hefty 77 for a youngster that is always great plus 4 to positioning negative 5 long passing but as a striker right winger it might affect him more as a right winger but as a striker it's not bad at all uh, short passing right here plus 2 and finishing plus 3 bringing up to a respectable 64 right there so as you can see he wants uh, a nice little good kid he only his potential still only goes up to a 78 but you gotta think about it in FIFA terms this guy is a already pretty decent FIFA wise of only his, his finishing is gonna push a little bit up and he does grow by um, a very very nice 12 points so if you want a good young quick striker in your team maybe look at Clinton and Jai and now we're gonna go into a couple of Giants and a very interesting bunch of strikers that got upgrades this week and that would be starting off with Ahmed Hassan is getting a plus one plus one right here four-star weak foot and here's the big thing 6'3 guys 21 years old but he is 6'3 so remember how tall he is as you can see right here a sprint speed and acceleration not all that big but he's not that type of striker guys he is a big target man and remember he's got that four-star weak foot so he's got that um 80 to 80 to finishing getting a plus two there as well as plus two uh, 75 to volleys as well as 81 to heading accuracy unfortunately he's got he's got pretty bad jumping over here uh but at 6-3 he probably can just just basically stand on his feet on the tippy toes and, and knock it in with that noggin pretty decent shot power as well as decent strength and stamina as you would expect from someone that big as well as the power header trait and 82 aggression not all that bad if you want a big target man you can go for Ahmed Hassan or go for the next guy Mohamed El Yusnunini you, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. And look at this, more Norway people. Just, man, you can build a pretty decent Norway team right now. And this is just incredible. Can play left mid, right mid, striker. And it's 5'10". And as you can see right here, plus 4 to his potential, getting him up to an 80. 
and then look at this four star we put five star skill moves what are they putting in the water over there let's go ahead and take a look at the sets none of these stats have been upgraded but very respectable sets in the movement speeds already 80s in uh acceleration spin speed agility and balance 79 in dribbling and 73 in ball control so he's got the agility and the movement to get around very respectable 69 in finishing as well as decent short passing a uh, good curve good free kick Oh man, just look at all these. Um, good shot power, great stamina for a youngster. Not great, but pretty decent. 73, not bad. And good long shots and shot power. Strength and jumping could be a little bit better, but pretty good positioning and pretty good penalties and has the flair trait. Very well young balanced uh, agility striker right here. Remember the name? Uh, Mohamed El Yunusi. <laughs> and now for another giant. If you thought Ahmed Hassan was tall, look at this kid. Obi Ulare is 6'5", 212 pounds, what an absolute monster. Starts out at a 68 and is getting a plus one, plus one to overall ambidextral. Bring it up. Welcome to the 80 club, young man. Only three star weak foot, but let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. And for a guy who's 6'4", very, he's quite brisk, he's quite brisk indeed. 78 acceleration, 83 spin speed. Yeah, plus one to reactions, not all that high in agility, but not terrible either. 61 is doable. Uh, 65 in dribbling and 66 to ball control. Got a 68 to finishing, getting a plus 17 to crossing. Uh, now at a usable 58. Uh, 65 short passing, getting a plus 9 to volleys, bringing it up to a respectable, uh, I, I guess like a mediocre in volleys. And let's go ahead and look at this for a guy who's 6'5. He's got 91 strength. Oh my goodness, and 80 jumping, and he's got 73 shot power. Unfortunately, this is the one thing that kind of kills him for a big guy. He does not have the stamina, only at 51, and he's got the strength speciality. So maybe you can use him as kind of a super sub if you are kind of uh, uh, behind a game. Bring him on as a sub and try to knock it in in the final minutes of the game. Remember the name, Obi Olar, or Olare. I don't know how to pronounce his name, to be honest. Next up, and this guy's a little bit interesting. You might be like, oh, 74 to 79. That's kind of weird, but he is getting a plus one, plus one, and he's got a four-star weak foot. What I wanted to kind of demonstrate about him is that uh, he plays the left mid and the right mid position, so nothing all that spectacular about him yet, but this guy is one of the best um, defensive left mid and right mid hidden gems that you can find in the game and this is what I'm talking about right here as you can see his stats are very well balanced he's got very good crossing hitting accuracy short passing decent dribbling long passing control uh, movement speeds 83 spin speed with everything else is in the high 70s and here's the thing defending is the interesting part he's got 78 marking 70 78 sand tackle and 80 slide tackle 84 aggression and 78 in um, the interceptions and it's got a huge huge plus two not well that's not huge but a uh, massive stamina 89 in the stamina getting a plus two to stamina and respectable 69 in strength uh, 69 in jumping and 70 in shot power is the engine free um, injury free trait and one of my personal favorites the engine speciality so if you want a player that you can kind of bring in and try to kill off a game late on Mateo Darmian might be a guy to play. I think he's got all these stats because he formerly was like, I think like a left back or a right back. Next up, we got uh, two Argentinians coming right at you. The first is this guy's uh, Cesar Melli, 22 year old, 5'7". None of these, it just seems like all these Argentinians are under 5'8". Five, five, it's kind of crazy, but they're so damn talented. Plus two, plus two. Welcome to the 80 club, young lad. Once again, weak foot three, skill move three. Let's go ahead, plays for Boca Juniors. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. A little bit slow for an Argentinian. That's all I'm saying. For an Argentinian, he kind of let me down. But all these are in the high 70s. So uh, a couple years, he's probably going to be boosted up into the 80s at least. Not all that great invention, but remember, he is a CM. And he's got very good short passing for a CM. As well as very good long passing, ball control, and dribbling. Uh, decent in all the mentality stats. As well as very good in the defensive stats. 74 stand tackle. Not bad at all. With 68 and 67 to mark and slide tacking. Not bad at all. And here's the big one. 92 stamina. 60 strength. Not all that great. Decent long shots and decent shot power. But a pretty interesting. Another pretty interesting player for Boca Juniors. Cesar Mele. Uh, the next Argentinian. A right winger. 18 years old. 5'9". And he's getting the massive upgrades of the week. Plus six to overall, plus six to potential. Welcome to the 80 Club. Once again, that's the hat trick for this episode. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Another guy who plays for Boca Juniors. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. And whoo, look at these upgrades. Plus seven to uh, acceleration, eight to sprint speed, nine to agility, 10 to reactions, and two to balance, five to dribbling, four to long passing, ball control, 12 to positioning, and four to stamina, bringing up to a respectable 68 and getting a whole bunch of buffs in the attacking area. Not all that great in the attacking area, if I'm gonna be honest with you, but remember he is a right winger. So here you guys go, another good young Argentinian, Christian Pavan. Last one up is a little bit of a homer pick, and that is because I myself am a Yank, so I gotta go ahead and give it to the man who scored on his debut for the United States. The kid is still in college, and that is one, the only Jordan Morris, the American, the future American dream, is 5'11", and is only 62 rated, with a potential of 71, is gonna get plus one, plus one. That's what you do. Your score goal for USA, we're gonna buff you, apparently. And what is kind of interesting about this kid is that he's got 85 sprint speed, He's got 69 agility and 78 acceleration. Okay, finishing, 64 finishing, and these are all kind of mediocre stats right here. But he's got 71 aggression, 71 shot power, and 74 strength. These stats are actually pretty comparable to one James Wilson right there. Obviously, he doesn't have the same potential as James Wilson, but if you got sprint speed of 85 and strength of 74, you can do some damage in this game. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So if you want kind of a, a good, cheap little buy, Jordan Morris, kind of look out for him. And last on the list this week is this man right here. Lewis Baker from England is getting a negative six to his potential, and that is a little bit of a bummer, as he was kind of a staple in Roads to Glories, but no longer. Um, I do not know the exact reason why he's getting such a nerf, and as you can see in his normal stats, He's not really getting any type of downgrade at all, just getting a negative six to his potential. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, another one bites the dust, I suppose. And with that, guys, it's a little bit of a sour note to leave it on, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode for Hidden Gems for April 24th, 2015. I want to say thank you, thank you guys for all the love and uh, shout out that you gave me on the last Loot in Town Akuma for all you guys. Who don't know, I've been going through a little bit of a rough time, but when I woke up this morning and, and saw all the love that you guys gave me, it, it really touched me, and uh, I just want to say thank you, and you guys are absolutely the best, the best subs, the best fans in the world, and I just want to say, Mwah! I love you all. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and share it with your friends. Uh, hopefully I helped you guys find some little hidden gems. My name's B-, and until next time, remember, stay humble.